Hey everybody, what's going on? Thanks for tuning in to another video of One Tool A Week. If you're new to the channel, we take a look at tools every week. So if you love tools, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. What is it that we're going to be taking a look at this week? Well, first of all, it's probably going to be Thanksgiving or close to Thanksgiving. So happy Thanksgiving to everybody and thank you all for supporting the channel. This week, we're going to be taking a look at this baby right here and let's go ahead and grab it. It's going to be this item right here. This is going to be the Vito Pro Pack Tech Pack MC, which is going to be their smaller version from the Vito Pro Pack Tech Pack. So with that being said, guys, let's jump to it. So as you can tell, it's going to be almost as similar as a Vito Pro Pack Tech Pack, but it's just going to be a tad bit smaller. Now the price is going to be uh, roughly about $100 cheaper, which is going to set you back at $279 instead of the $350 mark, which the Vito Pro Pack Tech Pack is at. So let's get into it and see what these features are going to be. So the first feature is going to be the bottom feature, which is going to be very nice. And all the Vito Pro Pack Tech Packs are going to have it. They are going to be made out of a polypropylene base at the bottom, which allows you also to have the backpack in a vertical motion and the nice part about it is that it's going to offer protection up to four inches up top in case you're up in the roof your roofs on the or the floor of the wherever you're at is starting to fill up with water you have moisture rain whatever the case is your tools are going to keep uh, nice and dry from the bottom anything above that uh, good luck with that so next thing is going to be the front now i did mention it did set you back for 279 dollars and 99 cents so just keep that in mind also let's talk about dimensions on here now the height on this is going to be 17 inches tall with the handle down and the width is going to be 13 inches wide now the thickness is going to be about eight inches thick so just keep that in mind so next up is going to be the front pockets let me zoom in you're gonna have two front pockets up here in the front one's going to be a small one up here which you're gonna see and then the other one's gonna be on the inside which if you look in you're gonna have a divider that way you could divide uh separate items on to keep uh more than likely i'll probably end up keeping some bits or some other items another thing that i did notice is you do have these two little uh straps right here i'm not too sure if vito Propack mentions it or anything like that uh but i'll probably end up putting some bits or pens whatever i'm gonna be putting on the side that way i could store some items now another thing that i did pick it up i do have a vito Pro Pack tech pack and a reason that i picked this up is because it does get large and the tools do get heavy and just carrying all that so i wanted to see if i could minimize the most important tools that i carry and keep them on me so next up is going to be the right side on the right side you're going to have a large d-ring and a small d-ring and of course you're going to have your uh your electrical tape holders right here or if you want to put some teflon uh rolls right here which i do also add and or whatever you could fit in here it's going to be nice to have now you are going to have two pen uh holsters right here or pencils or if you want to put bits whatever your probes anything like that that's going to fit you could add it now let's look to the other side and that's going to be the left side the left side you're going to get a tag which i'm going to be cutting out in a little bit and then also you're going to get a large d-ring up here uh you're going to get two uh pen and pencil holes holders on the site and of course your famous tape measure that way you always have it on you and you could pull it out whenever you need it now if we look at the top the top you are going to have this very durable handle let's see if i could peel this off and this is going to be the Vito pro pack tech pack or the Vito Pro Pack Tech Pack handles that they're gonna go come with, which is super sturdy, guys, and just all the hardware, it's not going anywhere. This is going to be a very, very nice handle to have, and it's not gonna break. Uh, the backpack will probably end up falling off before the handle actually breaks or tear on that a nice little comfort grip now let's go ahead and open up the front pouch and of course you're going to have these nice zippers which if you choose to lock there's a little locking mechanism which you could put a loop or a you know a lock out and tag out that way nobody gets in there so let's go ahead and zip zip it up or zip it out and see what we have inside so inside we're going to have these babies right here you're going to get a total of six um holders right here which you could put anything they are going to be three inches uh deep that way you could fit any three inch shank or um, shank screwdrivers or stuff like that and keep it on there you are going to get six of these holders now you are going to have four larger ones which are going to be six inch uh deep that way you could add more items and they probably sit about maybe two screwdrivers per set right there 
you keep going down you're gonna have two other pouches at the bottom and the first two pouches up top is going to be a five by four inch which you're gonna be able to add anything on there and they are stretchable which is a nice little feature uh, to have and then you're gonna have two more which are going to be a four by fives which is gonna allow you to also add more items now also in case you think you're out of storage let me see if I can swing this up down underneath here I know you can't tell but the actual hardened poly poly uh, base is going to be here and you could add more items underneath or in front of these pouches just in case you want to you're gonna have one clear pouch that's like this over here and zoom in here we go you're gonna have one clear pouch that way you could see your items that you have in sight and also on this side you're gonna have a little magnet that way you could um, put some screws or just anything keep it on there that way it doesn't go anywhere now we slide the last pouch and you're going to be able to see this is going to be a large uh bag where you could store some more items and you are going to get this baby right here now this baby and purpose of this is going to be to latch on to this d-ring up here and once you latch onto that d-ring you clip it on and technically you have a little table that way you could put your tools or anything that you could think about screws or anything of sort right here on top and it's not going anywhere of course the weight of the tools are going to keep your bag in a vertical position and that base is going to be nice and sturdy on there if you don't choose to use it that way there's multiple uses that you can use for there as well so let's go ahead and slide this back in and let's go on to the back of the backpack so we're gonna slide over to the backpack. I'm not reaching all the way to the back yet. Uh, the way you're gonna access the second compartment in the back is going to be these two are gonna slide on out and these are clips that get catch the actual handle up here in the front that way your weight is very well distributed now keep in mind that these are not going to be plastic these are going to be actually metal and of course a metal piece and some nice uh i'm not too sure if this is leather or pleather so let me know in the comments below if it is now you're going to go ahead and once you remove that you're going to have access to your two uh zippers and the zippers are also going to have a nice little locking mechanism in case you want to lock it let's zoom in in case you want to lock these areas you can lock them up and have something that way nobody gets in the bag so you're going to go ahead and open it up and here you're going to have it guys so first first off first we'll start with this side you're going to get one zipper bag and there is no string in there but the zipper bag does go pretty far in and you could keep a bunch of items in there another clear bag where you could see your hand in between that way you know what you're carrying in the front so let's zoom on over here and these are going to be the next bags that we are going to get you're gonna have one two three four five six seven eight eight small little storage compartments in case you want to keep certain bits or certain items that are gonna fit in there you're gonna have a little um clip that way you could keep some keys or anything that you think about that could clip on and also you're gonna have another d-ring small we keep looking up here and you're gonna see that you're gonna have four pouches where you could store more screwdrivers or whatever you could think about storing now these the four of them it's gonna be a two by five inch deep uh pouch that way you could store whatever you can on there that's gonna be measuring around four by five or two by fives sorry about that and then at the bottom you're going to have two five by five pockets so what i mean by five is that it's going to be five inches wide and it's going to be five inches deep that way you could store plenty of items or store and you're going to have one more pouch that is going to be five inches wide but it's just going to be four inches deep now keep in mind that in case you want to you do have that plastic body and you could store more items right in front which i usually do so let's go ahead and zipper this baby up and then we are going to venture to the very back of the backpack and the final items so of course you are going to get these very nice straps if i turn them around they're going to be super padded and super comfortable because you are going to be carrying them on you now in the front you are going to have some clips right there that way it doesn't uh, move over there is a little springs on there that way you could have some play and the cool part about it is that you can remove these and adjust them depending on what your body type is going to be of course you're going to have more adjustments up here that we could adjust your uh 
your straps to whatever configuration and if you look to the side it is going to be metal parts riveted in to the actual poly so this is going to be the video guys let me know what y'all think in the comments below and as far as the price point goes i think it's a very great price for what you're getting and the amount of bag that you're getting as always guys thank you all for the support and thanks for watching one tool a week guys